Hi, my name is Karolina Kwasek and I'm an assistant professor in aquaculture in School of Biological Sciences and Center for Fisheries, Aquaculture and Aquatic Sciences here at SIUC. My interest in fish started a long time ago. I was actually brought up on a fish farm. And this led me to obtain my bachelor and my master degrees in fisheries and aquaculture at University of Warmia and Mazury in Poland, where I'm originally from. I later got my PhD at the Ohio State University, which was followed by two postdocs, one still at Ohio State and another one at University of Insubria in Italy. I then decided to take some break from work in academia and I moved on to work for World Fish based in Malaysia, a non-profit research organization where I supported development of sustainable aquaculture in countries such as Bangladesh, Cambodia. And from there, I moved to work for aquaculture feed industry in Scotland before acquiring my professor position in 2018 here at SIUC. I truly believe that my work experience outside of academia has greatly influenced my perspective on science and contributed to the development of unique aquaculture program here in the school. Our main focus is fish nutrition, and we strive to support sustainable growth of fish production through better feeding practices. Approximately 90% of our work is applied research, which means that for the most part, it has direct application to the aquaculture industry. We predominantly work with fish in early developmental stages. In most species, Fish larva represents a very vulnerable stage, unable to swim, unable to see, unable to digest food very well. So raising larval fish in captivity can be very challenging. Many fish larvae don't have fully developed digestive tracts, so they are unable to utilize dry foods as well as juveniles or adult fish. Instead, they require live food, zooplankton organisms, during their first days or weeks of feeding. Our lab focuses on finding ways to replace live food with diets based on unique ingredients or based on unique physical properties of the pellet. We have a specially designed system for raising larval fish in captive conditions, especially those that belong to perkit family, yellow perch walleye. Those species are particularly challenging because of their inability to inflate their swim bladders. This is associated with a film of oil that gets created on the surface of the water in system tanks and prevents them from gulping air, an important required step in successful swim bladder inflation. Our system is especially designed to break the water surface to help and improve the inflation rate of the larvae, but it also allows the dry food pellet to stay buoyant in the water column for extended periods of time. This is really important because when we test dry foods, those pellets are not mobile as live food organisms. All organs and biological systems develop during embryonic and larval stages and how these systems are established influence how fish perform later in life. So through our research on early developmental stages, we increase fish survival, we increase their availability for food production or for stocking to support the natural populations of these fish in the wild. We also work with fish in their adult stages, many species, rainbow trout, largemouth bass tilapia, zebra fish, but also marine shrimp. And we constantly evaluate how different feeding regimes, how different dietary ingredients affect their growth, their health, their survival, and many physiological parameters that we then assess on biochemical, molecular, or histological level. So if any of these topics are interesting to you, check out the link below and feel free to send me an email. I would love to hear from you and perhaps one day help you develop your own exciting fish product.